Hi, welcome to Math is Fun. Today, let's enjoy learning about the least common denominator. Firstly, what is a denominator? The denominator is the bottom number in a fraction. It shows how many equal parts the item is divided into. Fractions with different denominators. You can't add fractions with different denominators. One third plus one sixth equals what? So, how can they be added? You need to make the denominators the same. But what should the new denominator be? One simple answer is to multiply the current denominators together. 3 times 6 equals 18. So instead of having 3 or 6 slices, we'll make both of them have 18 slices. The pizzas now look like this. 6 eighteenths plus 3 eighteenths equals 9 eighteenths. That's all fine, but 18's a lot of slices. Can you do it with fewer slices? Here's how to find out. For one third, we'll list the multiples of three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, and so on. For one sixth, list the multiples of six. Six, 12, 18, and 24. Then find the smallest number that's the same. The answer is six, and that is the least common denominator. So let's try using it. We want both to have six slices. When we multiply top and bottom of one third by two, we get two sixths. One sixth already has a denominator of six. And our question now looks like two sixths plus one sixth equals three sixths. One last step is to simplify the fraction if possible. In this case, three sixths is simpler as one half. And that is what the least common denominator is all about. It lets you add or subtract fractions using the least number of slices. What did we do? The trick was to list the multiples of each denominator, then find the least common multiple. In the previous example, the least common multiple of 3 and 6 was 6. In other words, the least common denominator of 1 3rd and 1 6th is 6. Here are the steps to follow. Find the least common multiple of the denominators, which is called the least common denominator. Change each fraction using the equivalent fractions to make their denominators the same as the least common denominator. Then add or subtract the fractions as you wish. Here's an example. What is 1 sixth plus 7 fifteenths? The denominators are 6 and 15. Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45, and 60. So the least common multiple of 6 and 15 is 30. Now let's try to make the denominators the same. Note, what you do to the bottom of the fraction, you must also do to the top. When you multiply 6 by 5, you get 30. And when you multiply 15 by 2, you also get 30. 1 sixth becomes 5 thirtieths. And 7 fifteenths becomes 14 thirtieths. Now we can do the addition by adding the top numbers. 5 thirtieths plus 14 thirtieths equals 19 thirtieths. The fraction's already as simple as it can be. The answer is 19 thirtieths. What is 3 eighths plus 5 twelfths? List the multiples of 8 and 12. The multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, and 48. The least common multiple is 24. Let's try to make the denominators the same. When you multiply 8 by 3, you get 24. And when you multiply 12 by 2, you also get 24. So let's use that. 3 eighths becomes 9 24ths, and 5 twelfths becomes 10 24ths. Now we can do the addition. 9 24ths plus 10 24ths equals 19 24ths. The fraction's already as simple as it can be. The answer is 19 24ths. To put your new knowledge into practice, try the your turn questions at the end of mathisfun.com slash least dash common dash denominator dot html. See you later.